one is for EVH. entertaining upcoming artist of our generation. Yes, I dare. Oh. This musician and visionary is a delicatessen in today's music. Yes, he has an elevated sense of creation, displaying an intelligent, eloquent, dairy, and imaginative songwriting skill. That's right, you do. He exuberates sex appeal oh. with a free animated and theatrical performance that will enable you to remove your eyes from him during his performances. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> With a new single out, Click On Me, released in 2020, mm -hmm. our artist has not only been performing in the most respected stages of Los Angeles and the United States, but also has recently released an interview on LA Weekly about his music influences, which I love and we're gonna get deep on that. Mm -hmm. Not to forget that he was the artist featured on Jen in the Van oh. at the famously proclaimed NAMM show in 2020. Yeah, this year. He performed his original songs with his band and makes sure that we all know what to expect from days to come and shows to see. 
our colossally talented singer, exceedingly gifted guitar player, the astounding entertainer and performer, the sweet, the cute, the one and only, Derek J! Yeah! I wrote that oh just God. for you. Yeah, that's so nice. No <laughs> one does that. You're like, who are you talking about? What? Yeah, like, who's that guy? Could be that guy. Yeah, man. So, how are you? How's everything? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. I'm oh, so, so excited you came. Because yeah. I don't get to see you anymore. Yeah, no, ever. Yeah. Whenever I was at the, at the whiskey, I saw you there. I think the last time I saw you was there. Yeah. I saw you at NIM like two years ago. Yeah. And we played Backstage. a show together? We did play a show to the Battle of the Bands at oh, St. Rock. Yeah. I can't believe you guys didn't win. I can't believe you guys. You guys, who won that night? Some wimp. Yeah. Fucking band. That, they, they played covers the whole night. Oh, yeah. I remember it was stupid as hell. It yeah. was stupid as hell. But yeah. at least we got to meet each other. Yeah. That, that was a great night. You were super entertaining. Oh. I remember that the guy I was dating at the time was like, See? You should perform like this guy. He doesn't give a fuck. He's all few. I was like, You're supposed to be on my side here. <laughs> but that made me think. And I was like, That's true, you know. Derek's very, very unique, very wow. free, and I love that about you. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Tell us, how's quarantine? It's... Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh... Have you been producing anything? Do you feel the pressure to produce because you have so much time in your hands? Or are you mostly yeah. like, fuck it, I've worked too hard already? Right. <laughs> no, I wish I could be like that. I feel like, like yourself, like, artists can't not create. I know, yeah. And now we're busier than ever. Like, I feel like we're constantly, like, there's so many things. And I can, know. We're on a record. More than and, ever, yeah. Yeah, so just, I don't know, I, I'm just trying out different stuff. And I'm reading a lot more, too. Oh, yeah? What are you reading? I'm reading right now, like, some fiction, uh, Margaret Atwood, uh, Shell, what's the name of the book? Oryx and Crake. It's like a weird dis wow. about a, the world in like maybe a hundred years from now or something. Or wow. and it talks about how it's like all terrible and stuff. So it's really realistic. It's, so it's very realistic. Yeah, it's like it's really. Gonna, yeah. It's probably gonna be terrible a hundred years. From yeah, now. something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh -huh. reading too. I'm reading uh, How to Break the Habit of Being Yourself. Oh wow! It's pretty fucking awesome. It's all about like. Thinking about who you want to be rather than this is every day and creating the same every day. Ah. Kind of like, you know, attracting the law of attraction and shit. Yeah. It's awesome. That's I would it. totally read it. Breaking the habits of being yourself. Wow. And before I started reading, I was like, but I like myself until I read it. And I was like, I don't oh. like myself that much. <laughs> so sorry. Matthew, excuse me. Corona. Yeah, coronavirus. So are you working on anything new? I know you played a new song for us. Oh yeah, yeah. I played a new song. Um, How many new songs do you have? I don't know. I, well, I've been writing so much with different writers and different oh, people. Yeah. And so there's just like a whole, like, there's like a whole uh, folder on Google Drive, like 50 songs. Yeah. I'm not going to release any of them yet, but <laughs> I just like, yes. just to see how it sounds and where I'm going. But, um, yeah. but And how, how do you go about songwriting with these people? It's if it, everyone's so different, isn't it? Aren't they? Like yeah, like someone, some people take the reins. Some people barely touch it and let me do it, and then yeah. they're like, "Oh, I'll just fix, fix that one word or something." Yeah. And so I, I don't know. It's that's why it's so exciting. That every time is new. So, um, but I, I love writing mostly by myself. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's just like freaking nuts. It's usually like <laughs> till the morning and like early morning. I'm up and I'm just like, whoa, like, and it's just really weird. <laughs> do you ever write during the day? I try, but it's hot and stuff. It's hot. So you sleep during the day? <laughs> yeah, most, no, no, not really. I hike and I go nature and stuff. Oh, you and, do nature stuff too? Yeah. And then like, I come home and I work till morning, like boom. Yeah. And I sleep like two hours. <laughs> Where do you live these days? I live in Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock. Eagle cool. Rock, and yeah. you have, you've been doing these lives. Oh yeah. And is that in your house? Yeah, it was. It was in my garage. And then I had to go to like my friend's house to do it because I got like a noise complaint. Of and it. Yeah. And then I kind of slowed down on it around July because I was like, oh man, I just like, it's not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. Yeah. 
But that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> the important is that you're creating and you're writing and you just release something. Yeah. Click on me. Click on it's me. Badass, man. Get it. <laughs> Click on that shit. Click on it. And you can find his stuff on YouTube and also on his website, DerekDate.com. Oh, DerekDateMusic.com. DerekDateMusic.com. Don't listen to me. <laughs> and tell us about that and how you know the the video came up to be and where did you record it who recorded it with you oh great questions okay 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 so i went to uh new york staten island on literally 3 a.m on on new year's day like it was just a strike zero and i went straight to new york to what? write with vernon reed wow. from living color yeah amazing guitar player and amazing friend and my band opened up for Living Color the 2017 October, so like we made friends. We were like, That's amazing. And he's like such a mentor guy. And cool. I went there, like on Airbnb. So I went to his house like every morning, like 7 a.m. And it was like snowing and like blizzards. And but we wrote that song together. Yeah. So it was that was like the one of many ideas that really came to completion. We we're like, oh, that's what she said. But <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I didn't realize. I just said. Uh, but anyway, um, but yeah, so he, he was very, he, we, when I went there, he was like, I want to write something about like this crazy thing that we're always doing and I'm like everyone's the, doing yeah. that. On the internet. Yeah, seriously. And it's like, so, so many good things come from it. Like, you know, connections. Yeah. And, yeah. But also there's such a bad flip side to that. It's like really bad. Yeah. Yeah. Like people are literally addicted to this thing. Yeah. And crazy. when they feel alone, like you say on your lyrics, you know, yeah. when you're alone, then you go in there to try and find, to try to find some comfort, make friends. Are they, are they really your friends? Or yeah. do you want to buy something? I love the message of the, the lyrics. Oh, thanks. You guys wrote together? Yeah, pretty much. I brought in like the music, but then he kind of helped me arrange it, and then he came up with those like really strong words like "When did we volunteer for slavery?" Yeah, and, like, yeah, oh, was, like, of course. He hit me that. I was like, whoa! Like <laughs> I just like, was knocked out. But that was two years ago. So <laughs> I just had this song. We recorded yeah. it immediately at Hybrid Studios in Santa Ana, I, I think, and uh, finished mixing and r doing all that like shortly after, like a. You know Thomas Frost Johansson? He's a keyboardist at the jams he comes through. Yes. He's a Danish yeah. man. Yes, yes, he yes. A hat. He wears a hat. It's a beautiful studio, Straw Horse Studios. Really? And so he like uh, mixed it for us. We completed guitars there. and But uh, but actually, on the message of that song, it talks about like malware and virus and viral. Yeah, he does. I want to go viral. Yeah. Uh, but the, the you said it best. The true meaning of it is about being lonely and like... Uh, longing for connection, but ultimately being more disconnected as yeah. you just get it. So, totally. So totally. we're just all disconnected, even though we're constantly connected. So, so, yeah. But I, see, like, the, the constant connection with the machine and with the people out there keeps you from actually looking around and making real connections. Yeah. You go out and you see people at the bars, you know, back in the day you used to talk to people. Now everybody's on their phones talking to someone that is not there, which yeah. cuts the vibe and... Now we're all alone, even though there's people around. I love it. Yeah, yeah. You love it? I love it. I love it. And what about the video? The video? Oh, Jeremy Ian Thomas. That's the name of the guy who did the video. He's done work with, like, I believe Tribe Called Quest and stuff like that. Uh, just a friend of Vernon's. Her name's Petra. She's my friend as well. If cool. We got me. cool friends. I got cool friends, yeah. <laughs> Could be my friend. Petra lives in. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Cool friends already. Right. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but Petra lives in, like, Georgia, and she just referred uh, Jeremy to us. But we already looked at, like, ten animation artists, and we're okay. like, oh, this is not cool. But then Jeremy, like, didn't even send us a treatment. We just got on the phone with him, and we're like, this guy, it's this guy, it's this guy. He's just wow, like, cool. He's, like, the third member of our band. Yeah, band. Like, totally. So, yeah, he, he said, like... Uh, uh, like just uh, it's a 3D animated video, so you could see like the full dimension of people, yeah. and so he felt like God the whole time, like in a weird, just like weird way. Like yeah. he was like looking, like into a world and like moving <laughs> things around, and like it was like really <laughs> tricky for here. him. Yeah, like, and but there were also images of you guys playing live. Oh yeah, and, yeah, actually at 2020 now, oh. which is funny. I don't know. He just chose those, and we have a bunch more to live footage, but yeah. So, oh, and also Metropolis, the movie, 1927, directed by Fritz Lang, <laughs> a German guy, 
uh, that's like scattered all over the video. Because you see that movie, it's like super the same. Like everyone. Really. Yeah, it's about loneliness and longing and working for this big machine. Everyone's working <sighs> with this big machine and giving all their time to it. And it's about like, like people. The workers are basically slaves for the people on the top, and they're like, oh, I don't know. It's just crazy. Twenty Twenty Seven is the name of the movie. No, Metropolis. Metropolis. It was made in nineteen twenty seven. It's like one of the first kind of like full length sci fi films. Feature length. Twenty seven. They were making movies then. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's amazing. It's just it's the kind of movie where they put subtitles so like, and then it's like they said the name. Wow, that person that came up with that movie was way ahead. Miles going nuts outside. You don't mind him. Miles. What's Miles' name? After? Miles Davis. Oh, that is awesome. <laughs> Duh, of course. That's so. It's cool. my baby. They yeah. had to have the best name of the best musician I know. Oh, oh man, Miles. Right. I love Miles in the Sky. It's like a great album. He yeah. gets like really trippy on that. He also did like some cool psychedelic guitars. Like he doesn't play guitar, but with guitars in the 70s. It's like he's constantly growing. He's everywhere. I've read two of his um, autobiographies. It's mm. badass. I have Audible, so I'm always, pay for me, Audible. Oh, uh, yeah. But I'm always listening to books, so I go through books really fast. Yeah. And I love sci-fi movie uh, books, too. Like, Stephen King is one of my favorites. Ooh. I'm always, I think I read last year, like, 20 of his books. Oh, God. To, to a month. I'm just going through it. You know? Ooh, those are big books, though. But, but you know, Ooh. things like that, it just fulfills you with ideas and, you know, fills the well of creativity and there's always something to think about that you're not usually thinking about. His stories are awesome. He's a great writer. I don't know if you ever read any of his stories. I haven't read, but I've seen movies. Like, I just saw The Shining. But the movies are not even close, as they always say. Oh, wow. what the books are. Back to, to you. No, no, that's cool. I love talking about it. This is cool. I want to read Steven now. I got it. I'm to. Well, he said, he said that he didn't like Jack Nicholson's interpretation of Jack and The Shining. Yeah. He's like, he didn't do a good job, or, which is wow. crazy. He's like, whoa. He said, because, he said he got crazy too fast. Uh, it's supposed to be a slow build into craziness. But that's the thing. These books are 40 hours long. Yeah. <laughs> and then so you have an hour and a half to make them happen, you know, so it's like... It's not the guy's fault either. It's so whoever the fuck wrote the movie's fault. Yeah, yeah, probably. Now I'm getting sued. That's Stanley Kubrick. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing personal. Yeah. <laughs> getting personal now. Getting personal. Um, why don't you tell us about the tour you went with Living Color? Because that was badass. Thanks. That was awesome. Yes. Okay, so it was right after Ted Nugent. I did a tour You did, Ted. yes. You tried to steal my bass player. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. I know I did. <laughs> That's okay. Everybody tries to steal her. God, Julia's sick. She's, She's amazing. awesome. Yeah. Like, She's good to be around, too. Yeah. Just yeah. fun. Go ahead. But, um, yeah, we just went on Ted tour, and then... Uh, and that's a very certain kind of crowd, certain political crowd, for right, sure. Right, right, right. But he's super cool. Everyone's, like, super cool. And all the crowd, too, is, like, super awesome. Everyone's, like, a big family. And as soon as we get back, we get word that we have to, like, in two weeks, go to a Living Color tour. Or, like, a week. So we went straight on, like, nice. right after touring. We're just like, all right, let's go back to it. And we did, like... How long did you do the Ted Nugget for? A month. Just a month. That's okay. Actually, two separate months. Uh, one the we did first half like earlier in the year because he does like sixty shows or something seventy shows or ninety a he, year a year yeah wow. but he's been slowing it down a little bit more like this year well not not this year but nobody did anything this yeah. year yeah <laughs> uh, but anyway <laughs> um, but yeah just it was a month and then I finished the tour with Ted later I like stayed home then I went for another month and then. The Shade in the U.S. Living Color Tour was like a month, all of October and stuff. That's fucking crazy. And then it happened that to um, open for, what's their name? What's the name? Another band you actually opened for. Oh, uh, there was like Lynch Mob. There's, um... Who am I thinking? I had Steve Vai. Steve Vai, yeah. yeah played a, I played like the end of his Passion Warfare 25th anniversary right. tour. Just like the last few shows. Did you meet him? Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. And he's cool. Like. He is cool. I've met him too before. Yeah. We were doing a Halloween party for Nuno 
at his house. Oh. Phoenix Rising at the time, now Sister Not. But he was there oh, wow. and he was playing and everything. I got one of his picks right there. Oh, nice. Is the he one didn't with... give it to me. He stole it. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's I love his picks. Great. It's great. Yeah, they're, aren't they like, uh, like machine, uh, half machine, half face or something? I don't, I don't know. know. Let me look. He has like different kinds of. You know. Oh, oh, Steve's Vi. Oh, Steve's Vi. <laughs> Steve's Picks. Oh, that's awesome. Here, man. Whoa. Don't touch him, oh, kitty. <laughs> Don't steal it. Now he steals it. That's awesome. That's... Isn't it cool? That's so cool. he was super cool. His guy came and did all this stuff. But I'm thinking about another band that you... you, you... Steel Panther! Oh, yeah. A couple times. At the Roxy. At the Roxy. And I met them on the road with Living Color. Like, oh, wow. We played a show in Fort Lauderdale, and then we went away... But the owner of the Fort Lauderdale club was like, come back, come open for Steel. Like, they need an opener. Like, so we like, we were like, we had one day off and we're like, all right, let's go 10 hours back. We're like, all right, oh my the next God. day. And you're doing all this in a fan. Yeah, like in a little mini fan with four people. And you it's, love it. And I love it, yeah. I feel, I, you know, it's such a way of life. <laughs> yeah, you look like someone that would love being on the road. Yeah, Definitely. You're like, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not that way. But yes, that you gotta, you gotta kind of be in it. You know, we have to be kind of rough to be in it. Yeah. I have some friends. They're like, oh, I don't want to be in the van. I'm going, man, the van is the best part of the whole thing. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you know? yeah. And then you grow to the buses and the airplanes. Yeah, yeah. Eventually, one day. Eventually, you will for sure. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait. You know what I wanted to talk about because um, I'm also a fan of it's that article you did on LA Weekly. Oh, yeah. Um, you were talking about some of the influence you had and go ahead and tell us. I'm not going to, I'm telling everything. Let the guy talk. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, that was so fun. I don't know, like, how on earth, I don't know, they must have just heard the single or something like, hey, I want to do this article and it was cool. So like, um, I think I, so the question was, what is their favorite album? And I can't say it's my favorite album. I would just Today. Today. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like today. Exactly. Like, like, no, no, no. Today not. Tomorrow it won't be at all. Or yeah, today I like, I'm listening to something else. But, um, but yeah, I mentioned like, I love Velvet Revolver. I like their sound. Yeah, yeah I do too. Yeah. Like really good modern for rock and roll, but rock and roll, like. Old Super rock and roll. Yeah, and it's fucking nuts. And the and what Scott Ryland Wyland Ryland, what Scott Wyland was talking about was crazy. It was just like the things he was talking about were like so real yeah. and super honest, and no one does that like like him like oh. anymore. Not anymore, yeah. Wow. When I discovered them, I didn't really speak a lot of English, but I I dug the rock and roll. Yeah. It was pure fucking rock and roll. Pure, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, so that, that, and it sounded sonically really good, so I almost said yeah. that album, but I also love, like, David Bowie, I said the Black Star album. I love that album, too. Yeah, that was it's crazy listening to it, though, it's like... Ooh, yeah, it's yeah, just... and it's fairly new, mm -hmm. 2016, I think. Yeah. Something, yeah. So it's not that old, because he has amazing, iconic albums, but that album, definitely. Yeah, and he was like really. He said something like on in an interview, like he was listening to Kendrick Lamar or something. He's always listening to like new stuff and trying to be better. So I love that. He put that in his album, kind of like the, yeah. the beats and stuff. Totally, I love yeah. that. I do the same thing. I like to listen to new stuff. Yeah, why not? Like if it's good, you know. If it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like your stuff. Oh, well, hey. Maybe. But then you picked. But then I picked the white album. Yeah, yes, of course Beatles. you did. Yeah, yes. wow. Oh, I almost thought Rain Dogs by Tom Waits. Tom, yeah. he knows how to create like sounds and out of, not like out of a pan. He yeah. would make that a beat or whatever. It's crazy. He's very creative. Yeah. I think I see some of his stuff on your stuff. Oh. The, the later stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the 70s stuff was more, you know, lots of acoustic and that's the stuff I like. Oh, yeah, the ballads, the piano, like, yeah. Martha. I hope you don't fall in love with me. I hope you do. Yeah, or hope I don't fall in love with you, or I don't know. And I think yeah. I just fell in love with you. <laughs> and the last phrase uh. is, uh, and I hope you don't fall in love with me, too. Yeah, so, yeah. Oh, wow, like, songwriting, guitar playing. I play a lot of acoustic guitar, so. And I write kind kinds of songs like that, so I really like that. So I loved to know that you, you were a fan, too. Oh, cool. Yeah, That's like, awesome. And actually, it brought me back, and I've been listening to it. I was like, oh, 
Oh, cool. <laughs> That's awesome. But why the White Album? Who who brought all this music to you, man? I don't know. Wait, how did the White Album come into possession? I, I think I just like heard Dear Prudence somewhere. Maybe my brother or... I don't know how it came up. I think it was when I started playing guitar, I was like, Cream. I love Cream and yeah. Jimmy. Wow. And then just somehow you find the like the White Album and stuff. But of course, we all know like Help and all that. Yeah. So we hear, I've heard that since I was a baby everywhere. So Your parents? Yeah, my like, parents. Yeah. yeah, they're not like musicians, but they love music. So. Yeah, mine either. But my mom listened to Pink Floyd a lot. So oh, I listened cool. to a lot of that. It's <laughs> Iron Maiden. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. We were rocking that. Wasn't Number of the Beast like uh, 2000? When was that? Re- Do you know when that was released? I think it was like 2000. We're already? That seems so yesterday. Yeah, really? that's what I'm saying. Number of the Beast, like one of their super well-known albums, was like later, like way, oh. which is great. I think, I think. I don't want to be. Maybe edit that out. <laughs> no, we'll live in it. Oh uh, man. Derek Day, liar, the liar. <laughs> yeah. That was not. Yeah. But um, are you listening to anything new lately? Something you like? Like new, like new. bands. Yeah. Um. Most, in the last five years or so. In the last five years? Oh, that's hard, because no one's good. Well, I mean, not, <laughs> not good, but it's like, no one's really... In... I'm listening to some crazy shit. What are you listening to? I'm listening to Marcus King. Okay. Marcus. Oh, Marcus King. Yeah. Yeah, Kingfish. Fuck, he has some beautiful vocals. Kingfish? No. Just Marcus King. Just Marcus King. Oh, but I thought, like, on Instagram, it was, like, called King... Marcus Kingfish King or something. No. no? Not that I know of. Oh, okay, never mind. I might be thinking of someone else. But <laughs> he's like a young kid. I think he's your age, you know, 26, 24, or something like that. Uh-huh. And he writes the most amazing fucking songs, and the lyrics are just so real, so intimate, you know. I love that. And his voice is out of control. Yeah. You gotta check it out. I have to, yeah. That's so cool. He's another Fender guy, huh? He's, he's a Fender guy, yeah. yeah. And he does the country stuff, but he does the rock stuff, too. That's cool. So nobody? Not from the last like five years. It's 2020. Like, I, I like this band called the Step Kids. They were they're like a trio. They started off sounding like really garage kind of stoner metal, but then they went super jazzy pop. And they had guys from like Odd Future come in and like these rat like Frank Ocean and stuff. And they're just playing really cool jazz R and B kind of. Wow. Really talented trio. Like they all like geniuses. <laughs> and um, oh wait. Now that you bring it up, maybe, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember, um, <laughs> my brain is dying. Yeah, no, we, I don't know, damn it, I should, I should know, like, there's definitely some new people, but I just can't think of them. I've been listening to this thing, it has nothing to do with the kind of music I listen to, it's, uh, Bluegrass, actually, his name is Billy Strings. Oh, cool. He's a badass guitar player, and he actually is, like, um, psychedelic bluegrass with very um original bluegrass so it's it's pretty pretty dope and he's a badass singer too oh bad. he's young too all these young motherfuckers uh, <laughs> if i only knew man what was i doing when i was 26 drinking and partying damn <laughs> no, no wrong with that yeah having fun writing songs i don't play anymore mm. What else? What else do you want to tell us? Um, I have lots of stuff here, but I'll let you pick. Oh, okay. Well, oh, I just want to say that the White Album thing. Yes. <laughs> that's not, it was my favorite album that day. But it is, it's like, I just think it's a good way to, it's a, It's kind of like that middle ground. It's like, if you listen to the White Album, you get like Helter Skelter, but you'll get Dear Prudence. And yeah. And you get like, and you hear, you know, While My Guitar Gently Weeps and all these, these yeah. stories in there. So I think that's like a good precedent. But anyway, other than that, I don't know, what was the question? <laughs> I can't remember. I just, wanted, I just wanted to let everybody know that, um, did you write to them at LA Weekend what, what they posted? I think, uh, yeah, or like I wrote all that little paragraph. Because it was so amazingly to read. You were so oh, good with wow. words. Yeah, that was super cool. So you guys got to check it out. Thanks, yeah. LA Weekly. Was it on the 6th, October 6th? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Super, yeah, like a week ago, a week ago or so. And, uh, yeah, and they even cut out my last line. Can Which I... it was like, the line! It was no, the line. What was it? I have it, and I'm a little peeved that they cut it out. I'm like, well, oh, we're going to tell you now. 
Yeah, you can hear. This First is the hand. only place you can hear it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Here, here. I, I have to just look at it. <laughs> it was awesome. I was reading and it was like, shit, I'm going to have to have really good opening for him. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. yeah. He used all my English. That's all. <laughs> every last word. <laughs> all, of the, all the English. Um... Dang it, where is it? I don't want to like take forever. It's okay. Holy Weekly, Holy Weekly. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, and you will read about it another day. But, and another day is, uh, I'll read about, I'll read about another day kind of thing. So oh. it's like, it's a play on my name. Yeah, yeah. Day. Another kind of version. People always try to think, tell you who you are. Like, yeah. this is what you are, but they're always wrong. So. They're always, they never nail it. Yeah. Yeah, so, except your intro was really good, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> for today. Just for today. Tomorrow he might change. Tomorrow he's a better day. That's for good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Tomorrow's <laughs> a better day. Better than today. Okay, the, last, got it? Cool. the last sentence of that article, which I was like, oh, why'd you cut that? I think it's because it is too, like, weird. But I say, like, I say something like, right before I say this last sentence, I say something like, the, the album is... It's um, poetic pop. It's artistically animalistic. Uh, so with all of that said, I take my music like I take my coffee. Storytelling existential paradoxes with whim, wonder, shooting stars, and a dash of milk. <laughs> <laughs> and they took that out. And I was like, come on, that was my personality, man. I, why uh, would they, they should not be allowed to edit your shit yeah. like that. God damn it. What, do I only guess so many words here? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe, yeah. You only get so many words. But those were good words. Yeah, well. I'll take my coffee like that, too. Make it, too. Yeah, make it, too. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Dude, now, Jag in the Van, that has to be super cool. Oh, Actually, Marcus King ha has done the Jam in the Van, bet, so yeah. that's fucking awesome. Oh. How is it in there? It's cool. It's, uh... The it's space, a real van. It's a real van. It's wow. a big one. And like all the space, there's a lot of space, but it's for all the cameras and the board and stuff. So the musicians get like, it's literally like to the end of this couch. It's really small. Oh, wow. Actually, this is precisely it. Yeah. So yeah. It looks, the three of you. The three of us. Yeah. And what's the name of the band? The guys in a band? Uh, Alan Toka on drums. He played on Click On Me as well. Cool. And Leanne Bowes on bass. She, I think you know Leanne. Maybe? I don't know her yet. Actually, she's kind of... She's not super new to the scene, but she's like just really getting into the whiskey stuff and oh, okay. right before it all closed. So, mm. but yeah, but yeah, she's an amazing singer songwriter, and she's releasing a, a EP soon as well, oh, which wow, I'm cool. excited to hear. Yeah. yeah, just her stuff. Like, wow. so you went in how many songs did you do? Because there are two on YouTube. Yeah, I think we did. <clears throat> sorry, we did a uh, four maybe. Four. four. Are they all on YouTube? Maybe. I don't know. I th but you're right. Like, only two come up. But I think if you look, you'll find... Uh, uh, so there's No Me Without You, Click On Me, Another Day, and... Oh, Fine Lines. Yeah, I think you'll find it. Oh, okay. Fine Lines is a song that's not out anywhere, but that'll be my next single. No. Just throwing that out there. Cool, man. So the Do you know one. when? Uh, no. <laughs> no, but I think definitely, like... By maybe December, like I was thinking on my birthday, December 15th, Sagittarius. Oh, I'm December 7th. I know oh, I like to. Oh, there's that explains the energy. Okay, <laughs> that explains a lot. Explains awesome, man. Yeah, so did it get hot in there? Uh huh. Is it as cute as it looks? It is very cute. Yeah, oh. there's like lights like this, like there's lights and stuff around. And uh, is it powered by monitors or did you have in monitors? monitors. I'm just curious because I need to know. They have like tiny little baby monitors, a bunch of them, like one here, one here, one here, one for the, and then like one next to the drummer, and, uh, or no, maybe the drummer didn't have one, or doesn't, they don't get one, they have like in-ears, but, um, but yeah, and then all around the walls, like the walls are like painted, and things are hanging out of it, and yeah. there's like everything, you, like there's like strings on the wall, like you break a string, like you just grab one, oh, or wow. picks everywhere, That's so cool. finger ease, like, yeah. I was using their stuff a lot, <laughs> so that was cool. And NAMM was right before the pandemic really yeah. exploded, so that's super cool that you got to do that. Oh, yeah. Did you play the big stage, too? No, I wish. You didn't do it, but you will. Wait, did I? No, I didn't, yeah. Next no? Time. Next year, no. Did you do any other shows at NAMM? Yeah, a bunch. Like, the, you know the glass, the outdoor 
Yeah. Like you're in a yeah. bubble kind of thing. I did that. that That's cool. amazing. Yeah, that was cool. How, how, how long have you been going in there? Four years. Five years. Yeah, and every time I play like a bunch of little booths and Fender and stuff. And yeah. It's pretty cool. I so. like going in there. And, but I get tired very fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you like... And like the noise in your head is like, it's just and crazy. It's, it's a lot it's, of people. It's a lot of information. Yeah. Yes. So you walk around and you see too much. Yeah. And I come home and I can't sleep. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> but just... it's a lot. I like touching everything, playing all the guitars too. That yeah. is cool. They say like maybe Nam had something to do with like Corona maybe. There's a lot of... Probably. There's a lot of different people there and stuff, but I don't know. I mean, everything did. It was so. probably us, the musicians. our fault. Everything's our fault. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, um, yeah. And not just Nam and um, the, the jam in the van and everything. You went on all these kinds of tours uh, for the last, what, is it two years? Yeah, two years. 2017 was like my break. It was like, bam. That's yeah. when I started doing touring, playing shows everywhere, getting crowds, a little... Yeah. So, yeah. And until then, you've been playing out. You've been playing Santa Monica. Oh, yeah. Since you're like, what, 13? 13, yeah. Just, Damn, how do you know? That, that's crazy. You were like... I know it all. You're, you're way more, <laughs> like... You're way smarter than a lot of interviewers. I like. know everything. Yeah, damn. Um, tell us about because I did see some some videos of you, but you were I think you were older. You looked the same as those videos, so I don't know how did you. How, when was the last time you played there? I, probably last year. Like I oh, started yeah? when I was thirteen, and I would go every weekend, like Saturday and Sunday, till I was seventeen. Just by ourselves. Uh, with my dad, because legally. Cool. Yeah, to. yeah. So he was really cool. With so that. he's the camera man. Uh, no, those are some other people. Oh. So, yeah. So, did you just go like, hey, can I have that video? Yeah, so, yeah, pretty <laughs> much. That. That's how I got my Steve Vai gig, actually. Shit. I, I got a video of, like, me playing Pride and Joy. It is time. the video I saw. Yeah, and yeah. then I sent it to Steve, and he's like, all right, come open up for me. And it was, no. Oh, it was Shit crazy. your pants right there. I did. How'd you know? Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you I know it all. Damn, you know it all. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh. That's how cool Bai is too. Like he doesn't do that for everybody. We had to kind of like open a door to get into another door to like look. And yeah. Then, right. But it was like it was cool that he even like saw it. And that's how cool you know. He's so that's cool. Amazing. Well, you know, these guys have done everything. They've been through everything. So it's awesome that they're still caring. They care about who's coming. You know, prior to them. Yeah, yeah. Some dudes, they don't give a shit. Some people are already there, and they're like, oh, you, know, you gotta pay your dues, and I'm trying. Yeah. Nobody lets me. Yeah, no one's letting you pay. Yeah, sometimes, at some point. How it. am I gonna make it happen if there are no opportunities, you know? Yeah. Sunset Sound's been doing a lot of cool stuff, actually, lately. Um, bringing artists to do covers of songs that were recorded there mm -hmm. in Hollywood, like, you know, Janis Joplin, The Doors, um, Tom Paddy and stuff. I hope they have you doing the Van Halen oh, yeah. because that would be dope. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be super dope. dope. Hey, send them the video, maybe. <laughs> I know. Of you performing. Yeah, maybe. And you'll like that, yeah. Guys, you have to stay till the end because he's performing three songs, two originals, and a surprise one. And a surprise. <laughs> and he killed it. The neighbors were like, yeah. <laughs> Miles went ape shit. Yeah. Miles is like Miles. <laughs> really one of those crazy notes he he puts out there. Yeah. You have a really cool show on YouTube that you guys recorded at Lucky Strike. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was badass. I'm so glad that that was there for us to see. Oh. For whoever never for who never saw him playing, guys, you can see the show, but you have a different band there. Yeah, sometimes, well, usually it's just a bass player that keeps leaving or going. Okay, yeah. And, it, and just because they're busy, they're like, oh, I have to go, you know. Bass players are hard to find, as you know. <laughs> I know. For <laughs> us, it's drummers. We don't have, actually, a drummer. Uh, we have all of the drummers. Ooh, that's tough. Because that's like your feel, huh? That's like your It's house. tough. It's tough. Yeah. But how did you get a gig there? Was it one of those opening nights? I think so. It was, um... Uh, I got to know, like, someone from, like, like, when they were doing, uh, uh, 
UJM, Ultimate Jam Night. Yeah, they yeah. started over there, kind of. Right. So I got to kind of like know someone by doing one of those. And again, that was another, a foot in a door of a door. Like, yeah, I yeah. I sneak in and like beg them, like, please. But that's how things are. That's how you got there, yeah. Um, but I, how, do, how do you, I just got to know, but he doesn't book there anymore, damn it. But um, this one guy, Dave, was just really cool. He's just like, come back, like, play a show here and then do this. And then I, I, not only would I come back, but I would like, Really, at Santa Monica, I'd give out flyers, like, come on, yeah, people, yeah, people, definitely. people would give me money, I'm like, no, 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 just take, come to my show, cool. and that really built a straw, and they were like, whoa, dope, we got like, that's 90 amazing. people here sometimes, and like, all eight, literally kids, and that's awesome, everyone. yeah, so it was nice. Wow. Yeah, and that place is really cool, it sounds really good there, it and sounds it sounds, pretty... it looks good for us, and it sounds really good for you guys. Yeah, yeah, it does sound really good. That video, I think, was Ann Sunday. Do you know Ann Yes, Sunday? it was. She does the UJN videos, and yeah, she does great video. So. And did you meet, I know you know Debbie Holiday and you guys' close friends. Mm -hmm. There are some stuff that you did recently on YouTube. I think you guys were playing together. Yeah, I tried. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. What was that? Or Instagram? What was it? Oh, Facebook? we did a live, we did a live at her house, yeah. uh, Debbie's Den, and um, I want to do another one with her too, it's just yeah. for fun, and we uh, took donations, we donated uh, some percentage to uh, Innocence Project. That's cool. Yeah, some of my streams too, if you give me money, I always give something, one time I did like, I don't know, Innocence Project and the Minnesota Freedom Fund, it's just some cool way to, I don't know, but that was cool, yeah, that was... And she also wrote Face Me with me. We wrote Face Me together. Cool, so. wow. Cool. Face Me. Yeah. Is like, that on Spotify? Yeah, first single ever. It's like me with an American flag. Oh, shirt. yes, I watched it. And didn't you do a video for that too? I did, but it's not released actually. Oh, I did like a little quick like snippet of uh, tour footage, whatever, but it's not like an official. What is. You have that same shirt on, the American flag, and there's a video of you. Oh, it the Radicals! Radicals! Oh, yeah, that's right. That was yeah. So rough. Where did you record that? That was, was, was like a school? Yeah, someone's school. I just got free recording time. Someone's, someone's school. I thought it was your school. No. I was like, what school is that? No, yeah, that's Fullerton. Oh, I was uh, like, is that in my? It looks like in my. Yeah, that's their music room. And so uh, Constance, the student there, was just like, hey, like, she saw me on the promenade too. She's like, I, I want to, like, record a couple songs, I need it for a project. Yeah. And, and I was like, yeah. And then I was like, I didn't have a band really, so I asked those professional guys, like, yeah. just learn this like the day before, and then I called like my friend, like, bring some cameras and like. Oh, that's the one you burped at the end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, so cute. <laughs> but I was yeah. walking by and I was watching and I thought it was cool though. Oh, cool. Because you were all, like, a live take, you know, ish. And yeah. that was that was funny. That yeah, was cool. <laughs> yeah, live sort of. Ish, yeah, sort of. <laughs> but it takes time for you not to just write the song, record the song, but also like go and do this and edit and release. So, if anybody is doing any kind of, you know, work and putting it out for people not to just listen but also to watch, I think it's really cool. That's cool. It's going an extra mile, you know. People don't make videos anymore. Yeah. Me and Julia did the, our first single for Lies. We did a video all in the iPhone. We used like all of our iPhones and all of our friends. And it was oh. like, come on, you do to like, you know, yeah. film was going, doing this and that. And we just did it in her house and that was it. Yeah. Edited ourselves, you know, mostly her. Yeah. And put it all out and that was it. That's awesome. And it looks great. Like I've seen some of the footage, it's like, it looks good like clean do you think so <laughs> yeah it looks good like a like any camera like yeah, we well, just downloaded an app you know it, i think what it counts is is the effort yeah you know? and you're putting the, the mind to go like fuck we need to do this we need to do this and constantly thinking about the next step you know i'm sure you're like that there's Probably. a lot of steps so what's the goal now what's in the oven what is in the oven <laughs> hungry. Uh, uh, what is in the oven? Well, I'm just really trying to push click on me as much yeah, as I can. Yeah, yeah, get to yeah. like 20,000 views before I release my next one. Okay. Because the next one's already, re like I have a bunch of songs that are recorded. I might as well like release an EP in January yeah, yeah. maybe. How many songs you think? Five. Just five. You said earlier that you were going to do singles. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that's because that's what like this world is. It's like a big single I know. age. Even though I like listen, it's not that I listen to the album in its entirely entirely entire entire. How do you say it? In entirety. Its entirety. Entirety. But. I like to have more than one to listen to, especially like, oh, I found Derek Day today on the internet. But yeah. you just, you just released, let's say you just released your first song, you know, and I'm going to be like. I know, it's kind of like, damn it. So I'm almost thinking that for my first solo stuff, release three. That's a good call, yeah. And with a video in one of them, just to have some shit out there like that. Yeah. Or rather than one. Yeah, that's a lot more. That's nice. That's like generous. <laughs> that's a good call. <laughs> I know. Right? I was just gonna send three, and then leave it because then they have something to chew on for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Something. Then I don't feel like pressure to fucking you know write another one, make videos for everything. Yeah. Because really, we don't have time for that. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. Yeah, you'll just needy. wait. Needy, guys are needy. Need some space. Yeah, we need space to create. Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk a little bit about gear? Gear is fun. Yeah, I love gear, yeah. Yeah, and you have a bunch of uh, sponsors. Yeah. Really cool sponsors. Yeah, really cool sponsors. Yeah, go ahead. I have, ooh, I, can, I even have, it's in my car though, but <laughs> it's a pedal board. I have this pedal board by Nexi pedals it's a dutch company there's no wires involved you just plug it in my god it's waterproof as a built-in tuner and a booster like a part awesome. of the board yeah. it's the nexi solutions board it's like it's and a, it works good and it works great yeah and it, and the they pride themselves in the tone they make their own pedals and they really pride themselves in the tone like it's vintage sounds old oh, school wow. and like yeah it just sounds like tube fuzzes and stuff like that's really cool i like that yeah. Leslie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leslie sound. Yeah, absolutely. For your guitar. Yeah, yeah. And so they're really killing it. They have like every kind of pedal you, that there is really. And uh, I think they're not super new. They, they've been around for a while, but yeah, super cool. Nexi pedals. I also like proudly endorse Fender. Oh, uh, Fender, man. Fender. That's Thank amazing. You. That's really cool. And that's super, what's it called? The teleacoustic tele? Oh, the acoustasonic. Acoustasonic tele. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. That's, I was hoping you would bring that. Oh, damn. I should have. Yeah, I really should have. Because it's in every video of yours. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> is the sound as good as it looks? Yeah, it really does. And it sounds amazing recording, too. I just realized. And you, you don't, obviously you don't like it. You go in direct. Right. But it has like, um, like Six or seven, no, like maybe six like uh, acoustic sounds wow. or six like switches, uh -huh. but you could turn the knob to make it sound a little bit different. And so really the combinations are endless. You just keep finding your exact thing. But the presets they have are perfect. They're like exactly what Is you want. Is it mostly acoustic sounding? Yeah. Oh, there's one uh, electric setting. And you put it on, you don't even need like, um, like a pedal. It sounds like a big ACDC chord. Like, oh, wow. a little so if you're looping yourself, you can have a solo on an electric and the bass track on acoustic. You know? Yeah, you could create like that an entire cool. thing with it, like on one loop, yeah. And you use that loop a lot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that, there is no me, what you heard was with my Fender, what's it called, Redondo, but, um, but I think Jump, you hear it there, that was the acoustic on it. Yeah. So plugged it in and yeah, so it sounds. Like... I like gear. I have a Gibson. Ah, yeah. Are you a Gibson gal? I'm a Gibson gal. Yeah, yeah. I have my Humminbird, but yeah. I'm I'm thinking about getting a Guild too. Ah. Twelve strings. Ooh, yeah. That's cool. And I have a, a Fender Telecaster too. From Mexico. That's yes. right. Freaking awesome. She's Mexicana. <laughs> <laughs> She's Mexicana. She's so cool. Uh, her Monica. name is, I forget, but it's from that funny movie, The Factor, <laughs> the, the, the Candy Factor. Oh, what's it called? like Charlie and the Chocolate, or, or yeah. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. She mm -hmm. is the, the, the mean girl. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> what's the name? I can't remember. Pepper or something? I can't remember. Oh, that's okay, that's a great that. name. But that's her name. <laughs> Disculpa, no me olvido el nombre de ustedes. And this is just, nobody knows what it is. It's a piece of shit, that's what it is. <laughs> but I don't really play it. It's a POS. 
Yeah. <laughs> and then my friend just gave me an electric guitar that was in the living room. Oh, lovely. Don't ask me what it is because I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's cool. I have a Telecaster named Bandy. Mandy? Band-Aid. Band-Aid? Yeah. Why? Just because it's a band-aid, you know, it helps the band. Oh. But also, <laughs> it, like, it heals you when you play it. You're like, ah, oh, I just feel like it's oh. so nice. I just feel like you're being, like, taken care of when you play it. Yeah. That's, like, the first thing I felt when I played it. It was a gift from Fender. They're like, here you go. And I was like, oh, I, I, like, went to their factory, like, not just to, for a tour, and they're like, uh, pick one out. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> and I was like, that one, dude. It's Reese. mint green. Oh. Oh, do you play it on your lives? Can we see it? Uh, yeah, a lot. I try to play it as much as I can. I, uh, <laughs> band aid. Yeah, band aid. You should glue a band aid on it. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, maybe that's a good idea. There's like a little chip on the top, so maybe I'll put there. it There! Yeah. yeah. People be like, ew. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, um,. You have a few bands, no? Yeah, a bunch. I was yeah. like in a band called The Kidneys. We have like a yeah. little EP out there. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a six song or eight song EP. It's really, it's kind of cool actually. It's like really crazy, like just almost punk, experimental, jazz. Whatever happened to that? Um, I don't know. The band was just, we started in high school. So, you know, like after when you grow apart. You Someone grow, had a baby along kinda, the way. Yeah, no, some kid, just, I don't know. <laughs> something have someone had like a mental baby for sure oh <laughs> man so they just you know i think just members were just, we're just going apart but i love those guys still and, yeah um the but, kidneys the kidneys find it yeah we have a ep called conformity it's cool. on band camp and it's about conformity it's like i hate you die. fuck conformity fuck conformity yeah <laughs> yeah so what else uh, I was in a band called Hot Stop. It's the opposite of Coldplay. <laughs> so, and we were we were signed, and I was with my brother. Holy shit! What a, does your brother play? He's a guitar player. So I learned from him. He's my older brother, six years, seven years, and um, uh, yeah, he's like he plays like he shreds. Like he's like he loves like Richie Kotzen actually. Oh he plays wow! Kind of like that. Oh wow! And does so, he sing too? Oh yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but he he was just lead guitar. We were like sharing leads in that band. It was like. R&B. We have an album out too. It's called Ele Elevated. And it's Elevated. just kind of like funky pop and stuff. Kind of like an early Maroon 5 kind of thing. And but with solos and stuff. What is he doing these days? He has uh, he has two kids and he, he moved out to Kentucky with that band. I left that band to start in 2017 because I had to like go tour. I was like, yeah. I was touring and shit. Be sick. Gotta do my thing. Yeah, I gotta do my thing, man. Let's go. <laughs> it's like get the fuck out. Yeah, he's like, go. I know. I hate you, but I know. Go. But, um, but yeah, he, he has a family. He works, and he still plays music, and he has a podcast, actually. Oh, shit. What's the name of the podcast? Masters of Music. Masters I'm actually, of Music. Yeah. Always listen to mom. That's the thing. M-O-M. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, listen to mom. Mom knows the best. Mom's I the... love the name. I yeah. love that. Yeah, I'm his co-host, actually. But oh. he, he takes it over. If I'm just there, I'm like, because I'm yeah, bringing... Musicians that we love. Yeah. It's like, come on, we'll talk about music. Same thing here, man. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Like, how can I talk about music? Ooh, I got a podcast going. Yeah, yeah. That's all you want to do. This, this just is all like, I can do. To inspire yourself. It's so inspiring to do that. So yeah. And we like to, we talk about music anyway, even if it wasn't in front of camera or microphones, we're always talking about music. So why not bring everybody else together? And yeah. Spread the love. Yeah, that's, that's a good point, yeah. We would have just been doing this anyway. We would. <laughs> so a bad. lot more cursing words. Ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what other bands? Tell me, because you have a bunch. Yeah, there was a... Uh, and so these bands don't exist anymore. There was one more called No Babies, No Bullets. Yes! Yeah, that I was like crazy, that. yeah. <laughs> it, was still, it was barely getting off its feet, but we couldn't do it. I don't know, just another failed experiment, I think. But it was cool. Like, the guys were great. Everyone's cool. The lead, lead singer was uh, singer Rachel Fox. Uh, she was an actress. She was like in Desperate Housewives and stuff. Oh, and, wow. So, yeah, she had like this thing going on. And, uh, but, yeah, so that was that. But nowadays, I'm in a band called, under heavy development, called Classless Act. And Slash's son was in it, actually. Oh, just for wow. a little while, but then he just couldn't, I don't know, schedule. He's very young. He's like 17. So, uh, so he just couldn't really do it anymore. But ever since then, we got signed and working on album, writing, writing, writing. Uh, Potentially, we recorded half an album with Bob Rock, who did the Black Album, cool. and like a bunch of like stuff. So, yeah. but he can't do it because of the pandemic. He's like, oh, fine. like I don't know, can't come over really. I don't want to like risk it. 
So we're trying to find a new producer. It's like constantly, constantly changes. Like two years of developing. Again. We get start and then we stop and we start and we stop. It's like that's what that band's kind of been. But it's been really cool like learning experience. So it's like. Really cool. It's like straight ahead rock and roll. Yeah. Kick at, kick you in the face. Like. Are you the singer? Yeah, and I'm just the singer in that one. I oh. put the guitar down. And what? At least live. Yeah. It's Are you like able to? Do you like just singing? Uh, it's weird. It's definitely weird. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because you get to like. It's so personal, huh? But then you you actually get to really sing. Ah. You, you know, you, you can think more about the singing aspects of singing. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Rather than like, oh, sometimes the guitar... For me, I'm not as fluent as you on the guitar, so sometimes the guitar takes away from the singing. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm dividing my brain to, to things, you know. Yeah. But that's, that's why you have to practice, you know. I don't practice as much as I should. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Wow, that's a good That's a good point. I never thought about it. Do you practice a lot? Um, I For a while there, I wasn't. But now I am. Like, daily, I'm really just like, come on, you gotta, you gotta go. You gotta just... Even just picking up an instrument or yeah. just singing karaoke at home, yeah, like, yeah. just <laughs> using the muscle, like, yeah. a little bit, because you definitely lose it if you don't, so. I know, singing is one of those, a week without singing, you know, right, you're like, yeah. a little weaker. Mm -hmm. I just sing anytime, anywhere, anyway. I love, yeah, you're setting up for this interview, like, ah, and like, get, like these crazy <laughs> notes, I'm like, what are you doing? I can't even do that, like, intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's always like, why do you have to hit so high now? It's such a high note. I'm like, because I can. Yeah, hell yeah. People <laughs> okay. wish they can, yeah. I'm like, mom, if you had a Ferrari, you would fucking go like, yeah. ah, as fast as you could. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I'm not saying I am a Ferrari, but I'm just yeah. saying, you, you can, you do it, You right? do it, go. <laughs> yeah, that's fucking, that's a t-shirt. Like, you gotta make fucking t-shirts like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. I actually work at a bunch of logos right now and stuff. Do you have a logo right now? No, I don't know. It's so hard to make a it's logo. It's so fucking hard. I mean, yeah. Oh my god. And then, like, nobody could create one for me, so I was like, fine. Yeah. Nobody wants my money, then I'm gonna create one. Yeah. And then I just downloaded all these fonts, you know, like very vintage fonts. And I know the color I want, kind of like your shirt. Oh, cool. And black, red, and I'm working with stuff. Now I'm like downloading apps for that. Oh, wow. So I'm learning how to make fonts now. I'm like... Oh, wow. God. But at least it's going to come out as, you know, the way I want. Yeah. I think it's going to be a feather, a black feather, oh. with the, the name in vintage letters. Oh, badass. Today. Today, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because there are so many versions of you. How can you just make, a, you know, a logo for all of these versions? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Miles. Who's here? Yeah. <laughs> Any other bands that we haven't heard of yet? One last one from today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I'm currently in three. So, it's my thing, Classless, and Think EXP, or Think X. Oh. That's what we're called. It's uh, uh, Stephen Perkins, drummer from Jane's Addiction. Wow. Norwood Fisher from Fishbone. Like yeah. Mr. Fishbone. Uh, Kenny Olsen, he played with Kid Rock and Shit. Twisted Brown tr tr uh, trucker, trucker Band and uh, Hendrix yeah. Experience. And yeah, he's like an amazing guitar player. Um, uh, Will Champlin, just a, he was on The Voice. He was an he's an amazing songwriter and just. But our, our, some of our members move around a little bit, but that's the core band so far. Right. Scott Page. Was with Pink Floyd from like for about ten years. Toto and Supertramp, and he's a sa he's a sax player. He's like the leader of the band, and uh, he uh, he's like on momentary lapse of reason and all those crazy no stuff. Way. Yeah, so he's an insane uh, dude, and he's like a super businessman. Like, uh, it's good to have those kinds of personalities too. Yeah, absolutely. In a band. So I'm like I'm just I'm the singer and guitar player. But I'm like constantly like my mind blown the whole time. Like I can't believe this is happening right now. Wow. <laughs> Every show. We have a show actually this month. When? Where? It's in Texas, San Antonio. Okay. When? San Antonio. Uh, <laughs> November 1st. Driving. November. Nice. I'm dying to do those. I know. I've never done one either. So. I really don't want to do one. I think you just like tune in. There's no speakers. You tune in and then like that's it. Everybody has, you know. And then they have to park in like specific places. Yeah. That's pretty cool. 
Have you done any driving? Like, have you like driven to any drive-ins during? No, I have not. They're not. They're not fucking having them anywhere yeah. I know of. Oh, okay. I'll tell in you about it. In the East right Coast, here. they have a bunch. Yeah, yeah, and like in Texas, they're doing it like every day, like movies or anything. They're I just... should go. The camera's not here anymore. I yeah. should go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But we're recording. It. Yeah, yeah. But I should go fucking check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Do you know anyone around? I just, January? yeah, I just went to, um, there's, there's movie drive-ins. There's a bunch of movies. So those are just fun. I'd things. like to go into those anyways as it was. Yeah, right? When like, they they existed and now they're bringing them back. That's yeah. pretty cool. Um, where's, where's one out? I think, uh, well, I don't know about any shows, but usually if there's a show, it'd be like out Del Mar. It'd be like somewhere in California, but still like north, north, north or something. Yeah, east. but... Mm, but the movies are happening. There's like a, you should do this. I'm not, I'm sure you love Halloween. Yes. Yeah, come on. I can tell you <laughs> love, I love Halloween. Yeah, yeah, I love. It's my favorite. There's a, um, uh, it's it's a haunted hayride drive-in, and it's in like Pasadena. Oh no, those no, nights, for it's in Alhambra, I think. Okay. And they they're doing it now. It's like every weekend or every day or every other day or something, and yeah, you drive through like a haunted little dry, like set design so. Oh. I think people come out and jump, I think, but maybe not. Maybe from a distance. Yeah, because so of the whole thing. Yeah, or so you don't crash either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> and that's pretty quick, but then you pull into the spot, and then you, they have, like, kind of, like, indie short films of scary stuff. Oh, wow, I love that. Indie, huh? Yeah, yeah. It seems like college-made, like, horror films. Like, really quick ones. Well, talking about indie stuff and short movies... That song of yours that I love, Another Day, ah, another day. that you played for us, um, was also produced, directed, and written by some young artists that are coming up right now with yeah. some stuff, right? How did that all become? John, to be? Yeah, yeah, seriously. I, I, those people amaze me. John Humphreys, I think he's 21, I believe. He's super young, very tall, <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, he's working with him is crazy because he's just like, he's just like always like has ideas like genius ideas wow, on the spot. Yeah. He's like, or he like writes these treatments that are really cool. He has, he's very he's like a filmmaker's filmmaker. Mm. I think he's very into like the edit. He knows like what he wants to see, how to do it, how to make it happen. Yeah, yeah. And um, he has a vision. He sees the whole thing finished. Kind yeah, of. yeah, yeah. I think actually now I remember how I met him. I saw. There's this local band, Chase Petra, okay. really cool trio, um, uh, and they had a video. They just, they're just they just a friend of mine, of me, I don't know how to speak, but <laughs> my friend, <laughs> a friend band of mine, and uh, I like their music, I love their stuff. I saw they put a video out, and I was like, whoa, this is cool. It's like all weird, trippy, and it was directed by him, so I just hit him up. I was like, oh. what's going on? Do my video, and he's like, yeah, hell yeah. Hey, he's super cool in that matter that he... Was so responsive. So, you know, we were talking. I was talking to him. I was going to steal him. Yeah. I was like, yeah. man, I like this. Who made this? Yeah. And then there's all this, all these other people that he's working with that was super cool too. Some girls and they all beautiful photos and cinematography stuff. Oh, nice. I love people like that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, different kinds of creators. It's not really my world. So when I do see it, like, it's so beautiful, so inspiring. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. You make everything look so cool. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I, I can't do that. You know, I sing, that's about it. You should, I, I feel like you would kill it but with editing, though. Editing? You know, yeah, like, edit I try. Film I do some editing stuff. Yeah. But mostly for my own videos. Oh, yeah. But you gotta sit there and do a lot of fucking hour work. Yeah. So what's the big vision? You know, I wanted to do everything at one point. I'm like, I'm going to write the songs, I'm going to film them, I'm going to edit them, I'm going to record all the instruments. And I was like, stop. Yeah. You need to see the bigger picture. Right. And just get that done. So then I, I was like, help. So I got a producer, I have nice. some stuff coming out. So. Oh, killer. That's no. cool. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. Finally. I'm too old. I need shit out now. Yeah. And yeah. if I release like Richie fifty songs all at once. Yeah, yeah. People won't know what to do with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know, uh, is there anything you want to add? Something you know? 
that we don't know about you? About me? Um, what's about me? Uh, what is about me? <laughs> I don't know. What you want to share with the world? Yeah, that's crazy. Maybe you don't want to share with the world, yeah. but you will today. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I wish I had, like, crazy stories, but it's not really crazy yet. I mean, I'm sure lots of things happen that I don't remember. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like... <laughs> Overall, just having a great time. Yeah. Are you happy? I am very happy. Are you happy. satisfied with how everything's going? Yeah, yeah, I am. And, like, it was cool. Like, like you mentioned how quarantine was going, and... Oh, it's weird how we're all like finally, uh, it's, it's so, it's sad about what's happening with coronavirus and everything, but it is such a good time for everything to pause yeah. and just everyone needs to, it, I think this ha obviously for a reason and yeah. like, we just need to like stop and look and like see what's going on. And that's what I've been doing. I'm like, this is cool. I like stopping for a second. Yeah. 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 I think it did happen for a reason. Yeah. And it was nice. It just stopped everybody at the same time. It gave people the chance to, you know, reconnect with mm -hmm. their families and with themselves. In one way, it was really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Besides the death, you know, yeah. and everything. But it wasn't that as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah, me neither. I had a lot of time off in the beginning. I took a lot of time off. Yeah. <laughs> I think the first three, four weeks, you know, I was just like sleeping a lot, drinking a lot. Nice. And then I was <laughs> like, hey, you know, I need to do. Right. I need to do something. Like, should we utilize this time? Because when is it I'm going to have the chance to do this again? Right. Yeah, exactly. You may not. Yeah. We, may, is... we may not. Yeah. Hopefully there is not another pandemic. Yeah. But... Yeah, but when things open up again, we have to play shows, I think. We have to kind of be present. And... Do the cover gigs again. Yeah, exactly. That was a huge income for me. I was... That was my income. Yeah. That's what I did. So I'm like on unemployment right now. I'm like, you guys took all my like money. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I need to pay too. rent. So... I know, I know. Yeah. Don't complain. Yeah. You took my work. Some, some people are working, but not us. Yeah. Nothing. It's not going to come back anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. But that's why we're writing songs for you people. Camera's back on. Oh, nice. Camera's back Thank on. Thank you, man. You are amazing. Yes. I love watching you perform. Guys, yeah. gotta check it out. Derek Date Music. Yeah. Anything you want. Com. Yeah. IG. Facebook. Pornhub, like you Porn said. Hub. <laughs> I have a few different names on that website. <laughs> it's crazy on all of them. Yeah. And, um,. <laughs> Thank you so much for driving all the way and coming and being so nice and performing for us. Absolutely. Adam. You're an angel. Thank oh. you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah.
citizen to realize Shots of truth could soon run through But no doubt you're too, too turned to realize Realize Shall we eat yeah, in every level of proximity? So now you want to talk oh, That's okay Thank you. Wave the artist.